Hello everyone! Hello and welcome to this, uh, well, surprise at least to me, uh, video of Let's Play New Revelations Raid Mode. I am the Black Shadow and last time folks, I assumed that this LP was, was done. Uh, we reached the end of the ghost ship, we had defeated the ghost ship and, you know, I was busy wrapping up the LP and saying the goodbyes. And then the game shat on us from a extreme height. As uh, I was ambushed, uh, legitimately, by uh, an enemy which apparently, from the research I've been able to do, known as Ghost Norman. Or Neo Norman, as I've also named him, folks. A super secret boss that I had never heard of, uh, having only ever beaten the ghost ship the once. Um, it seems that uh, upon beating the ghost ship the once, if you beat it again, the game rewards you with a super boss fight. Uh, which is fine with me. But I'd kind of like to have at least known about it. But hey, oh, that's one of those things. That's that's Capcom for you. It is, Capcom is a major, major troll when it wants to be. Um. So yeah, I got ambushed. I died. Um. And uh, well, I respect that. Unfortunately, I can't live with that. Um. I feel it would be unfitting to bring an end to an evil game. Without having defeated everything, you know, we've been de we've been taking on Resident Evil for five years, and I've not let a single damn challenge get the better of me so far, and I'm not about to start today. So today will be purely me going one on one with Ghost Norman. Now, I do have to redo the whole ship in order to get back through it, uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, however, I will show you, I have chamber weapons up a little bit. I've played around with it, folks. Mainly, I have removed my uh, G36. Um, now, it was a bit of a difficult decision to do this, as having the easy grip is quite nice. It's very useful. But ultimately, I decided that I don't really need it, especially when it comes to the bat fights, because if I take one hit, I kind of need to heal up anyways. I, can't, I don't think I can take two hits and survive anyway. Even with the easy grip. So I've just dismissed it entirely. And instead I have brought along a Magnum. Uh, my level 48 Python. Um, now I have uh, modified it somewhat here. Uh, what I have done here is... Um, I'm kind of going with my impact sort of plans for the sledgehammer here. And I basically just want to completely annihilate this guy as quickly as I can. So I put on the extra damage, the biggest one that I had available. I have given it the free shot burst. Now, I certainly considered putting on my full burst of, with the python. But I felt that was a little bit, a little bit unnecessary. And also, you know, if I fire at a bad opportunity... Or if he does some crazy shit, then that's obviously not going to be useful. So I think a free burst was fine. Uh, I've also put on this, folks. Humanoid damage. Now, I seldom ever bother with these. But considering that Norman is going to be the only enemy I'm going to be fighting at that point, and this Python is going to be exclusively for uh, for Ghost Norman, I think I'm going to put it on here. A nice 18% boost to uh, any damage I do to Norman. And he is a humanoid enemy. So that would be a really nice thing. So you're looking like every shot, an extra 20% of damage. That's really quite nice. I've also up the capacity as well because, you know, a standard was just seven shots. And for free burst, that's kind of not great. So I figured I'd up it up. I could make it 14, but, you know, I'm a stickler for numbers. So, hey. Um, as a result of not having uh, that, folks, I've edited my weaponry slightly. In that, uh, the Samurai Edge now has the Cornucopia. I have dropped the um, the ammo magnet for the Samurai Edge. So I now no longer have any ammo magnets on me at all. I purely have my two Cornucopias. Which means that the Python will not be receiving any additional ammo, folks. But to be fair, once I get to the boss fight, I'm not going to be killing anything anyway. So, uh, so I don't need to really worry about that. So this is the weapon set I'm going to have on me. Uh, for the entire bloody uh, level, folks, which is gonna be very, 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 very interesting, and I'm very looking forward to it. So, without further ado, folks, it is time for me to make my way through the ghost ship one last time, and we shall be taking on the menace that is Ghost Norman. I'll see you there. 
All right, everyone, we are here at the deck, folks. Um, now, uh, partially because I do think it's going to be somewhat important to the actual fight we're here for. And it's also a slight way for me to pad out the video like, a little bit more, I guess. Uh, I'm actually going to show off both fights against uh, Mr. Norman here. I know we've already uh, taken on... Oh, we took on the first one of Norman last time, folks. But, uh, you know, considering your success against uh, you know, the normal uh, Norman here, or lack thereof, is going to heavily, heavily impact how uh, successful you might be against uh, Ghost Norman, I think it's pretty applicable to show the fight here. So, what I'm going to do is start off absolutely terribly, because, you know, that's that's pro strats right there. Uh, so, I've got a lot of hanging out I've built up here. Uh, I've got the shotgun as well. Um, unfortunately, the shotgun's not really particularly useful damage-wise against uh, Norman here. But it's quite a nice little impact weapon to, to sort of stun him when he uh, opens up his heart here. I mean, I could use the pistol... But the pistol, well, it will do more damage, but it's not as dependable. Um, oh dear, he's behind me, I'm running. It's not going to be quite as dependable um, against, uh, well, I say that against, like, stunning Norman. Thing is with Norman that if I don't connect properly with the, uh, the shotgun blast, it won't stun, it won't stun him anyway. So, uh, so yeah, I've still got a nail in So that is a thing. Uh, we want to be taking shots at Norman's back here as much as physically possible. Um, as, you know, we do still a good couple thousand damage there with pistol shots in part. But the back will do an extra, probably about another 50-60% damage, which is always nice. Also, we want to be making strong use of our container here, as always, folks. Woo! Let's get this damn thing out of my bed break. Uh, we want to make strong use against, um, uh, is back to get that extra bit of damage. The container should help a lot. Our electric grenades as well are reasonably effective against them, but more effective than you might, uh, might figure sometimes. So, second form up now for Norman, where he's going to start using his illusions a little bit more, which is fine. Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Yeah, you see, I mean, unfortunately, unless I nail uh, Norman pretty quickly with the with the sledgehammer, yeah, it's not going to be so great. So, kind of want to be sticking to the handgun as much as I can. That and the shotgun will certainly be of some use to us uh, when it comes to actually fighting uh, Ghost Norman as well. So, perhaps it might be better to leave that boosting up. Oh, I hate this bit. When, you, when your impact weapon is not particularly effective, it is a problem. I could use the magnet here. And in fact, that is incredibly tempting. I might well use the magnet here a bit. The magnum is not particularly effective against Norman in this one. Ah, shit. Don't be there. Still hit with the, with, uh, no, the electric phase when as much as I can. Ah. Oh. This opportunity feels like. Forge, we can't do much damage normal at the moment. Once he uh, opens up into his uh, his wild form, yes, he'll be able to do a lot of damage to us, but we can also uh, respond likewise and do plenty of damage to him. I think he's behind me. It would appear so. Don't think you like that. It is always surprising how much damage shotgun actually do. To uh, okay, so this is a, this is fun times. Come on, Shadow. If you're going to use the shotgun to stun him, you've got to land those shots, I mean. Ooh. I mean, he can still do the damage there, you know. A, 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 a nailed shot isn't too bad. But unfortunately, I've got to land it pretty damn quick. Yes. Just want to get Norman out of this um, this phase here. Once we get him out of this um, this phase of his attack, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. I like to think. My setup, unfortunately, is not ideal for taking Norman here. Oh, here we go. Right. 
Run away. Run away very quickly because he's about to go nuts. He has turned psychotic, everyone. So we want to be keeping our distance. Whoa, as much as we can. And this is where the handgun will be showing its extreme use. Don't know where he is. Had the clue. Panicked a little bit. Figured out the one in front was, was not real. I suppose about all I could really work with. Oh my gosh. But the handgun we should be able to do reasonable damage. In, you know, I've got full mobility as well. Oh dear, that was unfortunate. Again, not having an easy grip weapon here does kind of suck in a way. Um, oh, wow. That was unlucky. Run. Ugh. Does kind of suck in a way. Um, but to be honest, if I take one hit, I've got to heal automatically anyway. So in that respect, it doesn't really matter much. Head swipe drops it for this fight. In there. What we want to be trying to do is just get those heart shots. The moment we can down um, Norman, if we want to take some pot shots at his back before giving the melee hit. Now, unfortunately, we lost that opportunity the first time round. Used the shot grenade to kind of get me out of jam. Fortunately, it actually ended up like, stunning Norman, which is kind of unfortunate timing. Oh, that was bad. So much hell. Oh shit! It's kind of scary. Here we go. So, take some shots at his back there while I've got half a chance. Go for the kick. Hit him and pray. Woo! Bitly. I don't know where he is. Not in the greatest of situations here. Don't have much help to be fighting Norman. Kind of sucks. Oh, yes. Just have it his back. Nice. All right. Norman is down, but we're not in a great state. I do not have much health. So uh, we're going to have to absolutely nail this fight. We do have uh, a few opportunities here to regain some green herbs with our fertilizer on our shotgun. So we're going to stab, stab, stab away. Oh, I might just shoot a couple of these bastards. Just run a game. There's one green herb. Can I pick up a second? A second would be awesome. Oh, I got two. That's not bad. It's not bad. Giant Alakuzo here. Alakuzo. I never know about this. Now, I think Stab him to death. Like that. Finishing blow with the shotgun to try and uh, manufacture one more green herb, which would be nice. Hey, all right, three green herbs. That is a that's a good result. So we'll pick up our weapon cases. Uh, two illegal custom parts. We get an extra green herb as well for uh, taking out the metal. Oh, baby Magnum, you better do me some good. Now this is where last time I should have clicked about here when nothing was said that something wasn't awry. Something was awry. I kind of thought, oh, this is a little bit weird. And then this happened. Motherfucker. Right, folks. So we want to make it as much use of this container as we can. Just fighting this guy out in the open, he's going to slaughter us. Container should have some use in blocking some of his attacks. Fortunately, he doesn't have uh, access to any of his uh, illusion conjuring or any of his teleportation abilities, which is good. Because they are a real significant problem. Grenades also, not too well. Actually, I say not too bad. That was actually pretty bad. Couple of bonus shots. So we're just gonna just gonna duck in and out of cover here, folks. Best thing for it. Ugh. Now, when he does that little slashing attack, it's not a lot of good for us, folks, because when he does that attack, his, his heart isn't actually exposed very much. When he goes for the wild swing, his heart is exposed a bit longer there, as well as when he smashes the ground. But when he does the little uh, uppercut like that, fortunately, he doesn't give us many opportunities to actually um, do much damage uh, to uh, Ghost Norman here. Now, at the moment, just using... Uh, we're just going to... Normal attacks will be okay. We've got the Magnum. 
which is fine. But uh, unfortunately, the Magnum's not going to be very much use um, against Ghost Knight. As, as we kind of worked out when I fought him the first time around, he kind of has two forms. This is sort of standard, you know, general thing. Still pretty damn dangerous. Uh, but then he's also got his um, Super Saiyan mode, where he uh, has his purple smoky aura around him, and he will just decimate everything. Fortunately, that is where we lose the Magnum at the moment. Magnum, not much use to us, folks. This is purely going to be useful when he goes nuts. That is the whole point about the Magnum here, because my pistol and shotgun at that point will be completely ineffective. Just got to kite him on here. Oh, that's a bad place to be. He can still hit you through the damn thing as well, if you're not careful. He, he, he can, if you're standing next to this side of the container, he can hit you through, which sucks. Oh boy, now we're fun. Now we're playing uh, hide around the container. I love how the freaking final boss music plays, though. That's awesome. I love this music. He's on the right side. Just going to play nice and defensive here. Especially considering I don't have as much help as I would have liked at this point. Oh boy. I don't know where he went. Oh, he never, he never got here. Okay, that's fair enough. Might as well use the grenades we've got to do what damage we can do. Oh, it's too very slow on the draw there. But yeah, luckily the container will confuse his attack pattern somewhat, which is nice. A couple shots on his heart. Oh, dodgy angle. Just gonna have to play nice and kitey around the uh, around this. It ain't glamorous. But it's certainly effective. Man, if you didn't have cornucopia, oh goodness me, you, you might want to uh, invest in some, some, some other form of entertainment. Here we go. So now he's gone a bit nuts here. Pistols and shotguns we found out last time, no use to us. However, the Magnum should prove useful now. Should do a lot more damage. Oh no, that was frightening. Holy crap, I'm glad to be alive. That was close. Any hit we take from him, we've got to heal. Oh, Norman. Poke your fucking head out. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Five, five and a half thousand damage per heart shot. Of course, triple bursted. His heart will not disappear either. Oh, that's good stuff. Right, you have to heal. I know it's not much damage, but we have to heal. Oh, I missed. Went for it. Uh, gotta be careful as well. I will not be regaining any uh, any Magnum ammo. Will not be regaining. No cornucopia on this. I'll make these shots count while I can. Meanwhile, Norman has decided to get stuck behind the container somewhat. This is fine by me. Right, he's turned. He's gone off. He's gone back to uh, normal, less insane version. So back to the pistol and shotgun. Plenty of shotgun ammo, which I do kind of want to use where I can. The only problem with using the shotgun, forging being the sledgehammer, do have reduced movement, which is a problem! Means we are more vulnerable to his attacks. That was a meaty blow. Oh, yes, a couple nice shots there. A couple more available. Yes, nice. I take three shots, I daren't take any more. So careful as well. I'm very say any hit we take folks I've got a heal we will not survive two we might get away with where has he gone might get away with two smashes on the ground from the distance that's about as much I can hope for oh no oh, bit of a waste there a little unfortunate but I'm running myself to blame oh, I've done it again aiming there getting a little hampered by the camera Fortunately, keeps turning a little bit side on there, so it's hampering trying to get at his back. That is his definite super weak spot. Name of grenades as much as I can. Come on, Shadow. You haven't failed an RE challenge for five fucking years. You know, you're gonna, not going to let fucking Neo Norman get the better of you. Come on, man. 
Oh yeah, that's a nice shot. That was meaty. Certainly connected. Oh, that was. Oh, why did I get the shotgun out? That was slap, slacky, sloppy, slippy. I don't know. Bad. Norman here certainly with a bit of advantage there. A bit of momentum. Wasn't a good spot. Trying to get some cheap damage with grenades here. It doesn't amount to very much, but it all counts, everyone. Got nine decoys. Decoys, of course, not going to affect him. The explosions would be doing some damage, but... Ooh, that was a nice shot. Son of a bitch. Couple shots available here. Oh, missed two. Oh. Right. Back, back to nutty, Norman. Again, even grenades here, not very effective. Woo! Oh, Shadow, come on. That's not good enough. No, it's not good enough. Come on. Got to exploit this as much as long as you can. Not getting many good opportunities to take shots at him. That was better. Run. Going, Norman. He's going down the left side. Run! Run for your life, woman! What are you doing? That was a bold, brave shot. Another way of describing that. That was a little ambitious. Oh, yes! I'm not getting anywhere near him. I dare do that. That was just asking for trouble. But he went down on his cheeks. This is going to be a close fight, everyone. God, what I love the music. I think he's... All right, okay. Off the magnum. Damage in that round, though. That was nice. Ooh. It's even perhaps worth just taking normal shots at normal here, to be honest. I mean, we're doing, you know, a normal shotgun blast is doing about 1,800 damage. It's not, not terrible. You know, just for a general shot. Obviously, we want to be trying to focus on getting critical hits here. You know, but a general shot doing a couple thousand damage, you know, it's not bad. Right, we're just on decoys now. And I'm thoroughly debating whether to just try and stick the handgun for a bit. Yeah, decoys, of course, not going to actually draw Norman out. But the damage might be able to do some damage like that. Ooh, that was better than nothing. Oh, slow the draw there. Been a nice little uh, sneaky hit. Missed it again. Oh, well, we need to move. We need to move. Don't be there, Shadow. Come on. You're getting ambitious now. You don't need to get too ambitious here. Oh, yeah. Bonus shot on his back. Norman didn't appreciate it. That was for sure. He got upset there. Trying to stick with the samurai edge for now. Got him caught on the side. This is good stuff. Oh, he's not caught. Woo! Quite frightening. I don't know what I would have done if it wasn't for this container. My gosh. Whoa, watch out. Oh, wow. Have at him. Kick him. Run for your life, woman. Ooh, that was close. Saw the sparks fly. Bad times, everyone. Come on, you son of a bitch. He's upset again. Time for our triple burst magnum. Combi would be jealous, my gosh, that was close. Oh yes. Go fuck yourself, Norman. It is over. Good night, Irene. Who is the man. Son of a bitch. I so wanted to kill him the first time as well. But glorious faded victory for everyone's favorite hero. Get the fuck in there. That was flawless. Five years 
and counting. Holy mother of crumbs! And I didn't even fully clear the bloody place. Oh my gosh! That's a ridiculous amount. I didn't even fully clear it. I didn't go through the, the promenade deck or the cabins. I sped my way through. Oh my god, look at all that! 40,000 experience and a ton of money. Oh my gosh. And I have more weapons and custom parts here than I know what to do with. Wow. Oh, where was that? I could have done with that, you know, like now. Never mind. Oh, wow. Good times. Oh, I loaded two. Wow. Of course, all the cu the illegal custom parts um, rolls are going to give us some very, very sassy uh, items here. Outrange free. I picked one, one of those off screen. That one's not so great. That's not so special. Now a magnet four. Wow. There are about 450 to 500 total enemies in that stage, folks. It's it's somewhere around that number. Holy Christ. Oh, wow. A, I, an enemy that before the last video I never even knew existed. But Ghost Norman can bow just like all the rest. Victory is ours. And with that, folks, with a, uh, a ghost ship that has ended up taking four videos to record and many more hours than that, believe me. Unfortunately, does mean it is the end of our LP, folks. We've done all the campaign. I would have done all of the uh, Abyss Mode of Heratura by the time that this video gets uploaded. That is all, everyone. There is there is simply nothing left. We have beaten the game. We have beaten all that it is dared to show us, folks. It's been a hell of a challenge. But it's been an entertaining one. And as I said at the end of the campaign... Having played this game again after a good couple of years has, has shown this game in a light that uh, I never really saw it before. Um, but uh, it has been a hell of a run. And I hope you guys, uh, those of you who have stuck along as well for the raid, I hope you guys have all really enjoyed it. Um, and I hope it's been something a little bit different. Um, I hope I managed, me and Heritage have managed to keep it as entertaining as we could for out because it, it's quite long. It is quite long. Uh, so, as I say, yeah, that is it for Resident Evil Revelations, everyone. So I thank you all very much for, for watching. Uh, the next Resident Evil project will be Resident Evil 5, uh, which I'm hoping to get that some of that recorded very soon, actually. I'm uh, just waiting on some bits and pieces to try and get that done. And then, of course, after that, Resident Evil Revelations 2, which will be a blind LP, folks. I have forced myself for... Uh, since that game came out, to not even really look at any of it. Not story, not gameplay, nothing. That is going to be a cracker, folks. Resident Evil 5 is going to be a cracker. Resident Evil is going to be a cracker. So thank you all so, so much. See you next time. Ta-ta for now. Resident Evil. Revelation.